For those who don't know me, I'm Esther Juma. Feel free to subscribe for those who have not subscribed. And for those who are coming here for the first time, I'm so happy to have you on board. Please comment, like, share so that this video can reach as many people as possible. Today, I'm a very upset person because of one of the banners that came up in one of the tertiary institutions in Nairobi, Kenya. There is this banner that has, be, has been put up by Cooperative University saying that uh, indecent dressing leads to rape and sexual harassment. Rape is not about how a woman dresses. From the banner, it seems like they are justifying rape and this is unacceptable. Let's hear more from the video. Welcome, I'm Mr. Juma. We are in the 16 days of activism against GBV and we expect positive messages. We don't need messages that will aid in uh, scaling up cases of GBV. Such messages can also uh, bring about stigma towards survivors of uh, sexual violence. So we really need positive messages at this time. For an institution to put up such information and such a banner, the management must have sat down and discussed this. For me, I'm seeing a lack of training, a lack of sensitization, so this needs to be taken seriously. There's no justification for rape. Whether a child has been defiled, a woman has been raped, or a boy has been sodomized, there is no justification. Rape is not about a woman's dressing. Rape is about the perpetrator's thought, thought system. So if somebody believes that uh, the way a woman dresses would lead to rape, that person is misinformed. And this is a person who needs to be sensitized, who needs to be given information, because lack of information brings a lot of stigma. I believe that if rape happened in your institution right now, the support they would get would not be sufficient. For this institution, I believe your intentions were good. I'm saying this from a good heart and from a good place. Sensitize your community, your students, your staff, so that nobody justifies rape. For anyone who is a, a survivor of a sexual violence or anybody who's been raped, it's important that you seek support. Uh, in case of rape or defilement, you can call 1195. This is a national toll-free line for GBV where you can be able to get support in terms of counseling, treatment, and also prophylaxis against HIV. There's a lot of trauma, especially when one goes through sexual violence. The trauma happens during the violence, and even after, it's very traumatizing. Seek support as soon as possible. Get to a health facility, at least in the first 72 hours, before a lapse of 72 hours, so that you can get support you can get prophylaxis. For those who are interested in uh, pursuing GBV-related courses, the institutions that uh, offer these courses, and one of the institutions that I'll mention here is LV City Health. They offer five-day five uh, training in GBV. I'm not advertising for them, but I'm just giving this information because this is information that I have. And I believe if incidences of GBV and sexual violence should go down. Sexual violence is a violation of human rights and so should never happen at all. We see that perpetrators of sexual violence are brought to book and justice is served for the survivors. Whether a woman, whether a child, whether a boy who's been sodomized, any type of sexual violence, let's shout against it. And let's support survivors of sexual violence. So for all of us out there, let's shout against GBV. Let's end GBV. And let's also support survivors of GBV. Thanks for watching this video. As we get to the end of the, the video, please comment, like, share, so that this video can reach as many people as possible. And see you in the next video. I will put other support systems in the description box below so that anyone that is going through GBV or going through sexual violence can be able to reach them for support. So subscribe, subscribe. 
If you like this kind of content, hit the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be among the first people to be notified.